Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville. And maybe until I moved, you weren't sure quite where I am. That's the gym behind me right there. And that's Fellowship Hall. And uh, behind me right here is the garden plot that is maintained by Lori Miller. I don't have time to show you every single plot, but I want to give you a quick tour in the parking lot of some of the plots that we have. There's a small one that was uh, handled by Rick and Sue Davidson, and I think Judy Leister is maintaining it, maintaining it now. And also there's a butterfly in there, and there is a memorial to Maddie Cunningham, a sweet young girl that we lost way too soon. I think it was, uh, was that one or two years ago. And uh, this one is handled by Barb and Chris Thompson. And Barb and Spike used to do the one that's over right in front of Fellowship Hall. Uh, but I still see Barb once in a while working on this. They have a lot of stone. This is the place from the parking lot where it seems when there's a lot of rain, it all wants to run right through there. And I can't tell you how many times a few years ago that I'd see after a rain, a whole bunch of mulch spread across the parking lot and gradually they added more and more stone until now that became almost like a little dry riverbed. Right here we have a plot that has a lot of milkweed in it which means it's going to attract a lot of monarch butterflies and this one is up for grabs. Uh, someone had taken it for a while and is not able to keep maintaining it so uh, if you've seen that we're looking for someone to maintain a new garden, it would be that one. This one, Carol Stern does, and it says Carol and her friend Fran. Once in a while, Fran will come and she'll kind of sit at the car and mostly watch her work, but uh, I appreciate that Carol gives her credit, credit for this. This one with the beautiful uh, birdhouses is maintained by Hap and Heidi Pennypacker, and uh, they have some really, really cool dark, I think they're irises that come up uh, in season. We're coming up on one right here that's maintained by uh, John and Debbie Boyer. I often will see them uh, working on this when I'm coming out, uh, leaving the church and going to the parsonage for lunch or something like that. They'll be here working. And um, we have one that has just been taken over by one of our new members, Reagan Johnson. If you haven't noticed the, the fencing around it, um, it's a very different look from when Winnie Hayek had been maintaining it. Um, and Reagan and Mike put in a lot of mulch there. And they even painted the, the base of the lamppost with... Uh, paint that they matched the mulch to so it just kind of blends right in and they said they put in the fencing this is the one plot that gets run over the most often during the turkey supper we'll have visitors that um, aren't familiar with the parking lot and when they leave because it's an irregularly shaped uh, plot it will get run through so they thought maybe if we put some fencing in people will notice it uh, the double garden right here in the front is well it says besides saying no smoking right here it says it's from the youth group i gotta tell you it's mostly the youth group ministry uh chairwoman Lori fallstitch that really makes sure that looks good but she she makes sure the kids uh take a part in take part in uh, maintaining this too and it's just beautiful all sorts of variety of colors and there are more that are up around the other side up there. Tammy Noss is maintaining one that's by the portico there. And I want to thank all the people that do. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, back there where the old sign is, or trying to point to it, right up into the corner behind the sanctuary, uh, that's Harriet Boyer. And she's the one who had the original vision of sharing these plots with different people. And so everyone can bring whatever style they want to bring and as much as work as they want to do and as many plants as they want to bring in or mulch or, or other things in the way they want to maintain it. And so we have a variety of styles and looks and I'm glad they don't all look the same. 
Um, so anyway, there is one that's available for anyone to come in and you can just maintain it the way it is, or you can do something totally different in it. But I wanna thank people for doing that. Uh, I'm glad we don't just have a plain uh, black parking lot, but we have all sorts of things out there. Let me see. Um, our scripture for today comes from Revelation. Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, Revelation 7.10. I'll be using that in my sermon. I'm going to be talking about the difference between patriotism and nationalism and Jesus and kind of looking at it from a Christian perspective. What should we, how should we look at our country when we know that we belong to God, we belong to, to, um, to his kingdom? And what's a delicate balance that we're supposed to do? And, you know, being Republican or Democrat in the United States or independent or something else. So I'm gonna wrestle with that a little bit with you and with God's word and some things that, that we can hear that Jesus has said. Our prayer today is for Paul Leister, who's at Jefferson Hospital, as I'm speaking on Wednesday morning, and for Charles Miller, who's at Reading Hospital. Um, Charles has, he had a um, pacemaker put in his heart last week, and he wasn't feeling any better. He was feeling a little bit worse and uh, some kind of congestive heart failure. So we're praying for him and for Janet. And also Paul Leister had been in the hospital three weeks ago. It looks like the same infection has come back. They're trying to figure out what's going on and how they can treat that at Jefferson. So we're praying for Paul and for Judy. Oh, would you join me in prayer? Lord God, we pray for these two men of our church that have given so much and are important to us and loved by us for Paul and for Charles. We pray that their doctors and all the medical personnel working with them will have wisdom and kindness and work well with them and help to restore them to strength and health. And we also pray for, for patience and forbearance for Judy and for Janet in this very trying time as they are being so supportive of their, their husbands. Uh, we ask for healing in Jesus' name. Amen. And our song is one, it was written between the two world wars by uh, a man named John Sibelius. And uh, I'm sorry, the tune was by John Sibelius. He was a Finnish, from Finland uh, uh, musician who wrote a tune called Finlandia. And, um, and the tune has been used for a lot of different songs. And this hymn, the lyrics, were written in eight, 1934 between the two world wars by Lloyd Stone. And they speak of a appreciation and love for your own country, but also hope for uh, peace among all nations. And I'll sing the first verse. We'll sing this later in church too. This is my song, O God of all the nations a song of peace for lands afar and mine. This is my home, the country where my heart is. Here are my hopes, my dreams, my holy shrine. But other hearts in other lands are beating with hopes and dreams as true and high as mine. Fourth of July coming up uh, just in a few days. God bless you and hope to see you Sunday.